Hi, this is Hannes Weger. I'm sitting here in my studio in Berlin uh, where I'm working as a mixing engineer. I'm kind of an expert on working with um, house and techno music and I'm um, working as an engineer for many great artists um, releasing on labels like Watergate, Poker Flat, Life and Death and Inner Visions. Today I'm going to show you a little technique how you can improve your mixes by clearing up the high end. Um, it's those little gremlins in the um, high frequencies that mess up the transparency and I want to show you how you can find them and how you can eliminate them. A good idea is to view your um, mix as some kind of pink noise. That's very even and all frequencies have the same energy. So if you want to listen, this is some clean pink noise where all frequencies um, have the same energy. It's a light roll off towards the top end and this is exactly how our mix should sound like, like everything well distributed and all um, frequencies um, nicely spread out. What happens when we introduce certain elements like uh, drum machines, I'm thinking of um, 909 hi-hats or 909 ride cymbals, um, is that uh, we don't add uh, elements that have this um, pink noise appearance. Instead, we are adding elements with uh, which have certain resonances in some places, and sometimes this is something nice because it adds character, but it can also clutter the mix and um, pull too much attention towards um, uh, frequencies that we don't really need in the mix. So the important thing is to um, especially when you're working with drum machines, is to have a look at the sounds and clean them up before you um, make an overall balance in the mix. And I want to show you how this works. Now this is the same pink noise that we um, used to listen to, but there's two resonances in the sound. And this is equal to what I'm going to show you with um, real-life sound examples soon when we have a proper musical playback. And what you um, can hear now in comparison to the flat pink noise is that there's two whistling spikes in the spectrum that um, focus our attention. And this may be a good thing, but it can also be a very bad thing. Now let's listen to a basic groove um, to show you how this works in real life. Now this is a very simple arrangement that um, only contains of a kick drum and a 909 hi-hat and a 909 um, ride cymbal and also two synth elements. Yeah, this is um, something that usually needs to be cleaned up. 909 sounds still um, are very important in nowadays music and um, they have proven very powerful and very nice through a couple decades, but still they are very raw sounds and we shouldn't expect them to um, work the way they should without any precise treatment. Let's focus on the open 909 high at first. As you can see on the metering, um, there are certain resonances in this um, frequency range and all of them make for the typical character that this um, sound has. But um, some of these resonances are actually quite bad for um, our mix because they um, yeah, focus our attention, whereas we would rather um, focus on a nice musical element like a synth arp or something. And um, so we need to um, get rid of these resonance spikes to, to achieve a very even sound picture in the highs, just um, like the plain pink noise. I'm doing this by um, finding the resonances with a um, sharp notching filter on an EQ and then I'm just reducing that certain frequency about yeah, a couple dB. That should already be enough. In this case the resonance is around 3.8 kHz and I'm reducing it by only 3 or 4 dB, so it's not a lot, but um, this kind of... Um, minimal invasive surgery that I'm doing here um, helps us to um, yeah, keep this nasty, nasty whistling sound in check and um, that helps us to open up the whole mix to add other elements without overpowering.
it's really this frequency that stands out and um, by reducing it uh, we achieve this even sound that we are looking for. Now the same goes for the um, right cymbal as well. If you listen, it's a typical 909 right and um, it has this uh, whistling sound that goes on all the time. If you focus on that you will realize that there's some kind of which goes on all the time when it's playing. And um, again, this is an element that um, occupies too much space in the mix and that also masks other um, stuff that's going on in this very important 3 or 4 kilohertz range. So by identifying this frequency, which in this case is just above 4 kilohertz, we can again achieve the flat and even sound picture that we are looking for. Watch me while I switch back and forth between the EQ. So this is the um, process and the unprocessed signal. I was um, just switching in and out the EQ band that reduces this frequency and we can very effectively Again, with a minimal invasive um, filter band, get rid of this annoying whistling sound on our hi-hat. Or in this case, right cymbal. Now let's listen to the whole thing in the mix. It's a very simple groove, but um, yeah, this way we um, have a sound picture that um, lets the synthesizers breathe and that um, gives us a nice focus on the bass line and the arp. And um, I want to show you how it sounds with um, the resonances in the elements. So by taking out um, these annoying frequencies, you create so much room in your sound picture for other more important elements. And it just helps us to achieve this clarity and the trans transparency that we're looking for and that um, really makes our production stand out. So thanks for watching this DJ Tech Tools feature. My name is Hannes Bieger. You can catch me online on hannesbieger.com and I'll be happy to assist you whenever you need me.